Hello everyone, here I have a 65 inch uh, TV, it's a Samsung here, and it's not turned on, the power button light shows, but it's just a black screen. The customer said they replaced the main board and that still didn't help. Usually if it's a black screen, it most, most definitely it's either your power supply board or your backlights. And 99% of the time it's your backlight. So you can find the backlight cable, it goes to the, to the very back there, to those wires. And basically there's usually several strips of lights in the back and if they go bad it won't work. So you can use an LED tester to verify if it is a bad backlight. I used that and I injected voltage and basically uh, it wasn't getting any current at all so therefore one or more lights have uh, broken. I'm just using my electric drill here to get rid of the bezel and then I'm using an ice cube tray to organize all the screws. This helps out a lot. And there are also three screws at the very bottom on the plastic bezel that you need to remove before we can take off the screen because we have to get it to the light so that we can replace them. There are two ribbon cables at the bottom that you need to flip down the little black connector and remove those. Flipping over the TV, now we can remove the plastic bezel that holds the LCD panel onto the screen. I'm just using a little uh, pry uh, tool here just to pry it up. And then I can, after I've pried around all the outsides, you can lift straight up and get rid of the plastic bezel that holds on the LCD. There are these uh, ribbon cables that connect to the LCD panel, so you're just going to flip those up and then tape them onto the screen. Then I'm using some suction cups. I got them from Canadian Tire. You basically need some suction cuts to remove that because it's very easily to break the screen. Under that, there's other plastic bezel that we need to remove. There's these little plastic tabs. So you just kind of pry them up and then you can remove that. Then we can have access to these little white pieces of paper. And what I'm doing is I'm just taping those sheets together and then put them on top of the screen and that'll give extra protection on that screen because it's fragile. So here are all our LEDs and you can immediately see, look at that, that's a, a broken LED, it's all black. And depending on how many are broken, in, um, you know, you can fix them. In this case, there are 40 on this TV, that was quite a few, but sometimes it's one or two or even 10. But if one of them breaks, the whole um, row won't work. And so just with one broken LED, you may throw away your TV, but it can just be fixed by replacing the lights. And there's this little plastic uh, paper that you can just kind of go up and we can have a look at it. And this one is really burnt up there. Uh, LED testers like uh, necessarily to really help you to test all of them. I'm just testing each row, taking off these LED filter caps, and then you can have access to the actual LEDs. They're really small, about three millimeter by three millimeter. And I just ordered a pack of 100 on eBay and, and then you can uh, replace the individual ones. You could order the LED strips from China too, but it would take quite a while to get here. I'm just using a snippet tool just to remove a, 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 a bad LED, then using my razor blade to shine up the little pads. And then I'm putting liquid solder on. The little pads, uh, there's a small pad and a big pad. The small pad in my case was, was negative and the big pad was positive. And I'm just putting on the LED after heating it up with my heat gun. Then I plug it in and see that it's all working. And I've uh, replaced all the bad LEDs. Turns on no problem. And to prevent this, this is the important information here, is turn down your backlight. It's This one was set at 20%, that's 100%, and that's why the LEDs broke. So if you put it at around 50%, that's normal, and it'll make your um, TV last a lot longer. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys in the next repair video. I repair many things. If you enjoy electronics, please subscribe and like.